Hi guys, so today we have lots of words to code, okay? So let's look at our first word. Well, we talked about this last week. I have the word don't, and don't, I can't code. It's a contraction and it doesn't even follow the rules of a contraction. So I'm gonna circle it, because this tells me I just have to know that as one whole word, okay? So don't, all right, and then what do you see here? Something that we talked about earlier on today, isn't it? I've got that sul final stable syllable, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a bracket, okay, because I know it's by itself. I'm building that wall so I can see what the syllable before, if it's gonna be open or closed, okay? And the sul, what do we know about the e? The e is gonna be silent, very good. So now on this side, I have an a in front of an s, so that's gonna be short. So ass, has, and then sul, hassle. So don't hassle. Do you guys know what hassle means? Hassle means when you're like bugging somebody over and over again, that's called hassling. So don't hassle. You guys just know this word, but we're gonna go ahead and code it so we understand why it does what it does, okay? So what's my vowel in that word? It's E, very good. It doesn't have anything behind it, so it's open, so that vowel is gonna be long. So I'm gonna add a macron, so M E, me. So don't hassle me, very good. All right, let's look at our next one. Well, what do you see? I see that C-L-E, final syllable, right? So the cool final syllable. So I'm going to box it off and add that bracket, and I know that E is gonna be silent. So then on the other side, I only have one vowel. It's in front of an N, so it's gonna make the short sound, because that ends a consonant. So I have un on one side, and then cool. Uncle, uncle, very good. All right, let's look at our next word. All right, I see that apostrophe S, and I know that this is gonna belong to somebody, but I'm gonna act like it's not even there yet because we added at the end, okay? All right, and then what else do you see? I see that EE -E vowel digraph, so I'm gonna underline it. I know if it's got that EE -E vowel digraph, the E is long, one E is long, and then the other E we don't hear, so it's silent. And then that GR says grr, so grr, ear, greer, very good. And then add the S, greers. So uncle greers, and I know when I have apostrophe S, I'm gonna put that line through it, the S, because it's gonna make the Z sound, okay? Uncle greers, Whew, that's a long word. Remember, I can break it apart to make it make sense, okay? So what do you notice? I've got the S at the end, that suffix. So I'm gonna box it off first because I'm gonna deal with it later, okay? And then what do you see? That's right, I had the K-L-E, the cool final syllable, okay? So I'm gonna bracket it off because remember it's like building a wall. And I'm actually gonna rewrite this C because that kind of looks like a D now. Okay, so cool over there. Now on my other side, on my other side of my wall, where's my vowel? That's right, it's an E. It's in front of a C, and C is a consonant, so it's gonna be shor short. So I have that FR, which says fur. So fur, ek, freck, and then cools. Cools, so freckles. Now remember, listen to that S, freckles. That's right, it makes the Z sound instead of the S, so we're gonna mark a line on it. So Uncle Greer's freckles. All right, look at this word. That's a long word. All right, well, I don't have an S suffix. I don't have I-N-G, I don't have E-D. So let me try to find my vowels. What's my vowels in that word? I see an I, very good. Where's my next vowel? On the A, very good. And I have S and T in between, which are consonants. So remember, I'm gonna split those consonants right down the middle, good job. And now in my first syllable, I have a vowel in front of a consonant, so I know it's gonna be short. I have a vowel in front of N, which is a consonant, so I know it's gonna be short. So I can say d is, dis, and t ent, tent, distant, distant. And look at this word. It is actually, I don't have a very good space, I want you to see two words so it doesn't look like one. What do you notice about the first word? That's right, it's 
digraph CK, so I'm gonna underline it because I know it goes together. And I know that in digraph CK, I'm gonna cross off the C because I don't wanna say k, k. it just says k, one sound. All right, and then what else do you notice? The SH, which says sh, like shark, so I'm gonna underline it. And then I have an O in front of a C, so it's gonna be short, so I have sh, ok. shock, very good. And then our next word, what do you notice? I've got A, which is a vowel, and then I've got E, and then I know V is in between. So I have an A consonant E word. So I know that that A is gonna be long, and that E is gonna be silent. So I would say wave, wave. So distant shock wave. Let's read them just one more time, ready? Don't hassle me, Uncle Grer's freckles. Distant shock wave. All right, guys, you did an awesome job. I'll see you tomorrow.